How's it going, guys? It is 4.22 a.m. Wednesday, 15th of February here in Japan. We have a medium difficulty question for step one pathology as well as internal medicine 2CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link's down below. Find me on Telegram. The link's to the Telegram channel are down below. Now let's start the clip. 69 year old woman, six week history of perirectal pain that worsens with bowel motions, the latter, which she describes as sometimes yellow. She has hypertension, osteoporosis, psoriasis. Her medications are lisinopril, alendronate, and topical triamcinolum. Vitals are within normal limits. Physical exam shows a draining sinus tract to the anterior perineal wall. Fecal cold blood is positive. Question wants to know what's most likely to be seen as patient. Let's just whip the answer choice here. Choice A, AB toxin test positivity, wrong fucking answer. This is done for C. difficile. Okay, Clostridium difficile spelled C. difficile. Stool culture, wrong fucking answer for C. diff. You're going to do a stool AB toxin test. It's going to be a patient who's been on antibiotics at least a week, now has watery stool classically, absolutely can be bloody. There's a question on one of the 2CK internal medicine forms. So they give a 28 year old who was on antibiotics for 10 days who has lower left quadrant pain with cramping uh, and bloody stool. And the answer is C. diff. Your sinantroclitica, wrong fucking answer. That can cause pseudopendicitis, but that will be on the right side. You're going to treat C. diff with oral vancomycin. Vancomycin is shitty oral bioavailability, but that's a good thing because we want the vancomycin to stay within the bowel. For other things like endocarditis and for meningitis, we give vancomycin IV. And colonoscopy will show pseudomembranes. Uh, C. diff is acquired via spore ingestion. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, apple course sign, wrong answer, just colloquialism for colorectal cancer. It doesn't matter where. It could be ascending with fecal cold blood as we have here. It could be descending uh, with pencil-like stools. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, coffee bean sign, wrong answer, colloquialism for sigmoid volvulus. Uh, question, and this is very high yield for surgery for 2CK. They love giving you abdominal x-rays showing the large coffee bean sign, okay? It's going to be a patient over the age of 80 who hasn't passed stool in several days, and there may or may not be pain. It's sort of a miscellaneous presentation. They will not mention that there is a dry stool palpated in the rectal vault, which instead will be fecal impaction, okay? That's another diagnosis you need to know for elderly, but you're going to have a large floppy sigmoid colon, patient over 80, and they like that for sigmoid volvulus, okay, with the coffee bean sign. And the treatment on the NBME exam is, quote, sigmoidoscopy guided insertion of rectal tube. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, granuloma is correct answer, okay? So uh, non-casein granulomas we can see in Crohn disease, which is what this is. Patient has psoriasis. So this is HLA-B27 constellation, not dramatic. So PAIR, P-A-I-R, is the acronym slash mnemonic. Psoriasis, ankylosing spondylitis, slash sacroiliitis, inflammatory bowel disease, which is Crohn slash UC, reactive arthritis, formerly Ryder syndrome. So they happen to give psoriasis here. They could have said, for instance, you've got a 24-year-old dude who has bloody bloody mucoid stools and lower back pain that's worse in the morning gets better throughout the day and that would be crone or uc as well okay i mean that would be uh ankylosing spondylitis with uc or crone so you need to know the hla b27 uh, pair constellation it's important medications nothing dramatic here i mean obviously ace inhibitor we've got uh, bisphosphonate we have a topical steroid fecal cold blood i mean makes sense for ibd and crone is transmural Okay, so we can get draining sinus tracts, fistulae, okay? And you're going to treat with, uh, you assembly likes five ASA compounds. So mesalamine, sulfasalazine, uh, steroids for Crohn. They're not going to force you to choose between the two, but if they do, choose mesalamine or sulfasalazine over the steroid if you're forced to, okay? But non-casating granulomas is what we see on biopsy for Crohn. It's a lot we can talk about. Real quick, PI is positive macrophage is lamin appropriate around fucking answers. First to Whipple disease caused by a bacterium referred to as Trophorima whipplei. Okay, if I'm pronouncing that right. But in 100% of questions, they will in some form mention this detail. It's like the only thing you need to know about Whipple disease is PI is positive macrophage and lamin appropriate. 
It's a, a syndrome that can lead to malabsorption, makes sense, a bacterium in the GI tract, uh, polyarthralgia, okay, and lymphadenopathy, and 50% of patients can have, for whatever fucking reason, hyperpigmentation. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.